how you all doing welcome to this enlarged video lead tutorial in this um, in this tutorial what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to import some images into your timeline and then with those images just have a, um, a fade from black to start them really nicely nice and professional and then fade to black just so they look nice and then we'll um, we'll have a look at our fade transitions that we can include as well so I'm just going to click new project top left hand side and then this plus button in what will be my timeline I'm just going to press that as well and it'll bring up my images so there's no dramas using these images if you want to um, you want me to add them to the description just give me a shout then my images will took them myself so there's no copyright issues there so we're going to select a few um, a few images just to use and then click add to project at the bottom so I'm just going to pinch and squeeze and make my timeline um, much smaller. And then what that lets me do is scroll through the timeline quickly. So if you're just scrolling through the timeline and you want to scroll through it quickly, it's good to have a small view timeline. But if you want to work or you want to do any sort of um, do any do any adjustment work on your timeline, then you're best to have the um, the timeline extended. So then your um, your adjustments will be. Um, will be correct and not um, and not be all over the place. So I'm just going to make it small, pinch and squeeze, just so I can see all the images. So my changes in my image. If I click play from, put my playhead. My playhead um, is designated by this pink line. I click play. You'll just see that um, that nothing happens, and then the images just swap over. So we can make that look a little bit nicer. And the way we would do that initially is to have a little um, fade to black. Or fade from black so let me just extend my timeline um, so I notice each image is sort of three seconds long which you could change that if you want so um, because it's only three seconds long we're gonna start here at the start I might um, get the playhead at the start of the timeline and then select the image that we want to um, we want to adjust first and then we're just gonna click opacity so what the opacity does, um, I'm sure you will know, is if the opacity is up fully, then you you can see the image. And if the opacity is down, you can see through the image, so there's nothing there. So obviously we want to start with a black screen and then build in from that black screen. So we're going to drag the opacity down with our playhead at the start. Then at the bottom right hand side, just underneath our, um, our image in our timeline here, there's a little triangle. Uh, sorry a little diamond with a plus button and that just designates a keyframe so once i click that little button that will freeze that image like that so the image won't do anything until i adjust that image or i do make an adjustment and the the way you can tell that there's a keyframe is see this little pink half diamond here at the start on the image that just designates that there's a keyframe there so I'm going to scroll in to one second and you can see one second on my timeline right there and then I'm going to drag the opacity up and that will automatically put a keyframe there for me so coming from black now and fade from black into um, into the image full and then we'll go to the end of the timeline or the end of the project and we want to fade from black here so again we'll do that over a second so we'll go to 14 seconds because the project is 15 seconds we'll go to 14 seconds and now you notice our opacity is up already we just select the image that we want click opacity leave the opacity up select keyframe so that diamond designates that we've got a keyframe starting from that position and then we'll go to the end drag the opacity down to fade to black and it will automatically keyframe you can see that by the little um, little diamond or it's got a minus next to the little diamond in the bottom right -hand corner so that's our fade to black or fade from black to start our project and fade to black at the end of our project so now what we want to do is we want to adjust these little transitions here or make them do something. I'm just going to click the little grey um, tab on the transition and we open up our transitions. Now we can make some transitions manually and I'll probably show you that as a late in a later video um, but just for the time being I'm just going to use one of the stock transitions and it's just going to be fade so it matches the fade that we started. Um, I see a lot of projects with 
transitions all over the place and you're just ignoring what's going on in the project and trying to guess what transition is going to be next so um i always try and keep them um keep them quite neat and keep them um keep them continuous throughout so now you notice you stick some music over the top of that if i play through that um it makes our images um, gives a nice slideshow to our images and just um, just makes it a little bit more professional. But um, but you can do this to movies as well if you've got a movie and you want to transition between each frame or between each clip. Then um, that's the way you do it. So um, all we then do is click this little um, little arrow on the right hand side there. Make it a 1080p. We keep the frames at 30 frames per second. Save that to our camera roll. That will export. And that's the um, the end of this tutorial. Really, really simple. And um, just to tidy your, um, your your images up and, and make a nice, professional-looking slideshow. I'll be back again with more videos very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you soon.